What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back, I'm coming to you today from my office. So I wanna show you guys my pending board and kinda of go through the little stories behind each deal that I have pending right now. I've got 19 deals pending um, and it's over $10 million worth of property. So I had a goal earlier this year, maybe three months ago I announced it, that I wanted to close $10 million worth of sales in one month. And right now I literally have $10 million worth of property under contract. Now this is all set to close over the next three months. Okay, so it's not all gonna close within 30 days. So the properties I have under contract right this second won't actually get me to the goal of closing $10 million in one month, but I'm still selling properties. I'm still trying to get to that goal. But it's good to have $10 million, $10 million worth of stuff under contract. I can tell you that right now. Before I show you my board, I wanna introduce you to the ladies in my office, Christy, hey. working away. She's got the double screen going here. And Brianna. Hello. Brianna works part time, writing some letters, yes. and also kind of watches the Facebook group and a few things there. Here's the view from my office. We're right across the street from the beach. So it's a really nice view. We also have a view back here, looking at the bayou. And then to the left, just another office over there. Here's my awards, my number one in the state award. That was 2018. That's the one for 2017. And this is the one for 2014. And then this, was the diamond award I got in Vegas last year. Also have a couple of number fives in the state and a little cooperative spirit award and all that good stuff. So here is my pending board. Now I don't have the prices here because you know ethically you cannot share the pending prices of properties. So I'm not gonna show you that but I can tell you that I have 19 properties under contract totaling well over $10 million in sales. Okay, let me start from the top here. Um, at the very top, I've got Phoenix 5 1404 under contract. We sold that property before it even hit the market. And this, this particular, this is my listing, and this particular seller came to me because they've been getting my weekly email for years, um, many years. She called me, she said, I just love your weekly email. And you know that's why I'm calling you. You've done such a good job with that, keeping me informed, and that's why we decided to go with you. I met with them. We had an initial meeting with the daughter and the mom. The mom owns it, and um, we really connected. And then maybe a day later, they called me and we wrapped it up. Really, when I when I left the the appointment, they pretty much told me that they were gonna move forward. So it was a really good, easy, quick transaction, but it came from those years and years of emails. The second deal is a development deal. Um, I represent a developer and we have this property, it's four acres under contract, and we're trying to build uh, a subdivision there. It's in the middle of Gulf Shores. It's going to be a really neat place. So we're still going through the due diligence period on that. So still working on that one. This one is actually closing in about a month. It's another development deal, but I'm representing the sellers. And it's actually eight sellers total. It was a condo that got washed away in the storm. Eight people. There were eight units and I represent all eight people selling this property to the developer. So I won't be involved in the development when they build the houses there, but I am involved on the sale from the seller to the developer. So it's still over a million dollars you know, in sales on that one, and I'm really excited to be able to put that one together. The next one, Enclave at Oak Hill, F201. Uh, this one, is someone who has done multiple deals with me. They own uh, vacation properties that they rent out and they wanted this. This property is off the beach a little, maybe three miles or so, and they wanted something away from the beach to stay in their self while they're here 
working on their condos. They have four or five condos. So they had, uh, they wanted something off the beach so that they could, you know, stay there while they're cleaning their condos and fixing their condos and doing all that stuff. The next one here is another development piece that I'm representing. Um, and it's, we're going through the due diligence. I do represent the developer on that. And it's gonna be really nice development, waterfront and Gulf Shores. So still working through that one. This one, Phoenix All Suites 906. We listed it last week and sold it within three days. Um, it was a quick cash deal. And um, you know, what can I say? I sold this seller actually, I sold his condo in another building that was in the 600,000 range maybe four years ago. Four years ago, I sold his condo and he's been getting my weekly email and all that and then boom, he calls me. Haven't talked to him since, haven't talked to him at all. He calls me out of the blue and says, hey, you sold my condo for me, you know, back in the day, four years ago, and I'm thinking about selling this condo. And so we had the conversation and started asking him more about the condo and what's going on. And they have other condos here as well, but they just wanted to get rid of this one. So we listed it. And coincidentally, I had just sold one in the same building that we priced at the same price we priced this one and sold it in a day. So I told him what happened with that one. And next thing I know, I have it listed and have it sold under contract. The Moorings, 413. This is my listing as well. I'm representing the sellers, but I represented those owners when they bought it and actually got on both sides of that deal. I represented the buyer and the seller when they bought it and then now I'm representing them again as they sell it. And I'm not representing the buyer on this one, just the seller. Um, but there again, it's a repeat customer. And um, you know, I love those because they already know what you're about. They already know what your processes are. They know how you operate and they love how you operate. That's why they're coming back to you. This one. Four, uh, 4613 Spinnaker Way. This is my buyer. This is a house in Orange Beach, and this is gonna be his retirement home. He's gonna move from another area to this area. I sold him a condo five years ago on the beach. It's a one bedroom. I sold it to him five years ago. He came back. He's been looking for a house somewhere around here to retire in for a while. We had one that he really liked, but it sold too quickly. That was maybe four or five months ago. He's been watching, I've been watching, and then boom, this one came on the market. He wrote a full price offer the day it came on the market. We got it under contract. This was just a couple days ago. So um, he's really excited, and of course, I'm really excited. The next one actually signed the paperwork on this deal today with the sellers a little early. It's gonna close next Friday, but the sellers are in town, so we wanted to close it early. Worcester Bay Village 701. I sold them this unit and they, they wanted to retire here. So they came down and they lived there for a while, but they couldn't stand being away from their grandkids. So they moved back to Tennessee and then here they are and they need to sell the condo. So we listed it and it actually took a while to sell because it's a 55 and up community and it's kind of older. So, but it is in Gulf Shores, so it's not in a bad location, but it did take us a while to sell it, but I'm glad it's finally done. Sea Pines 2001. This is my development, Sea Pines. This is actually, this was the old model unit. Um, sea Pines is a development. I represent the developer. It's going to be 84 units total, or maybe 50 units in. So we got about 30 more to go. But this was our old model unit. Uh, we made a new model unit because we've changed a few things since the beginning. And so this was just us selling the old model unit and that's gonna close at the end of the month. This one, this one is a vacant piece of property um, in Florida. I sell in Alabama and Florida. I'm right on the Alabama, Florida line. And this property is on the beach and it's on the river. Okay, it's, it's a piece on the beach and then across the streets river. It's, it has property on both sides, vacant land. It was a condo that got blown away. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be 
the largest deal that I've ever done in my real estate career. And so I'm gonna hold off on the story for this one because I wanna wait till it closes and then I'm gonna break down the entire story of this deal because it's been a straight roller coaster. There's 10 owners, I've had the listing for four years. I've been working on it for seven years. So um, I'm gonna hold off on that one for now and I'm gonna make one video just on that one because it's gonna be my largest deal ever, six figure paycheck and I'm really excited about it. Peninsula Boulevard, 303 Peninsula Boulevard. I am representing both sides of this. Um, it's gonna close by the end of the month. Um, I've had the listing for a long time. It was under contract before, it fell through. And these buyers just found it online, called me, I showed it to them, just all of a sudden, and boom, they wrote a contract, we worked it out, and here we are. Um, really excited about that one. It's, it's, a, it's a big one, both sides of it really excited. Breakers, number 12. This guy was referred to me by an on-site uh, handyman, if you will, of a condo complex called the Breakers. And he referred this buyer to me. This buyer lives in the building and wants to buy another unit in the building for a rental unit. So the, the handyman guy, the complex, told him to call me. He called me. We went and looked at it, wrote an offer right then and there kind of a spur of the moment thing, and now I have a client for life, because this guy will sell that unit later, buy another unit, buy more units, and so on and so forth. So, really excited about that one. This one, Phoenix 10, 506. This is gonna close at the end of the month. Um, it's in Phoenix 10, the last building in Alabama before you hit Florida. It's a three bedroom. Um, and the client is actually an agent in the Atlanta area, and we've done numerous transactions. I sold two for him at Phoenix 9. I sold another, another one of his at Phoenix 10. This is the fourth deal that I've sold for him. I'm listing them. And then he's going to buy one somewhere around here. He's got the building picked out. I don't want to say too much about it right now, but he's got his building picked out. And he's, uh, when he comes down, after we close on this one, we'll go look and see if we can't get them just the perfect one. And then another one at Enclave at Oak Hill. This actually came from some of the letters that Brianna writes. And he called and he wanted to buy another one. He wanted to buy something on the beach because he already owns one at Enclave at Oak Hill. He wanted to buy one at the beach, but this two bedroom came up and he has a one bedroom. So he said, I'm gonna upgrade to this two bedroom. So he called me, went, looked at it, wrote the offer, and then I listed his one bedroom that's listed right now. So I'm really excited about that. And then we've got three more at Sea Pines that are under contract that aren't on this board. Um, we've got another board down here that we kind of keep track of all the new construction at Sea Pines. So um, Sea Pines is going really well, and we're really excited about the direction of that and the other developments that are coming out of that are, are also really exciting. But the market has changed a lot in the last year and it has gotten tougher and we just got to keep pushing. Okay guys, so that's my pending board. Um, I hope you got something out of that or gives you some kind of idea of the volume that I'm doing. Um, so I'm just happy to share it with you. Thanks for stopping by the office, saying hello and all that good stuff. We'll talk to you soon. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button and let me know what in the world I can do for you. Let's go.